first step is choosing your ribbon. Here I have three different ribbons and they coordinate with my main ribbon. And for this example, I am doing five strips. You're going to want to cut your ribbon strips to be about one to two inches bigger than your bow that you'll be stacking with it. And these ones are going to be one inch larger than my bottom bow and two inches larger than my, my top bow. And so go ahead and, and cut your, your ribbon strips and then we'll go to the next step. Now we're going to make V-cuts into the ends of the ribbon and this will create the spike. So take your ribbon, fold it in half lengthwise and make, the end, make sure the end and this side is all lined up. And then take your scissors and then we're just going to cut from the bottom in and that creates that V-cut. And then you can do it not so long if you want it to be not as deep, you just can do it a little bit shorter in and it will make more of a cut like that. So decide what you want to do and then go ahead and uh, do this to the rest of your strips. And then after you're done with that, you're going to take your lighter and then just seal your ends. So we don't want our ends to fray. And then we'll be ready for our next step. Now we're going to shape the spike bow. And so to do this, you just kind of play around with it and see what you like and doing the different colors and where you want to place your ribbon. Generally I like to do the colors a little bit um, like this. Sometimes some people will do that and then have these ones be in the middle like that and that's really cute too. And then when they do it with the printed ribbon that usually goes in the middle to showcase that a little bit and so that's how that one would look so really you just play around with it and see what different things that you like or just look around and see what may be popular at the time so there's just lots of different cute things that you can do so go ahead and do that and see what you like and then we'll get started on making the bow. Have your needle and thread ready with the knot in the end. And then we're going to take the ribbon, fold it in half, and press the end of it so we can know where the center is. Open it up and place your needle through, but do not pull it all the way through. Now we're going to reshape the bow while it's on the needle. Okay, when it's where you want it to be, take your needle all the way through and then wrap it around the center. And now we're going to do the accordion fold. So we'll just pull your thread. And then reshape if you need to right at this point before we pull the thread around too tightly. Make sure it's how you want it to be and then when it's what you want, just keep wrapping and pulling until there's no more give. And then just take a couple stitches in the back. And that gives us our spike bow. And these are super cute even just by themselves. All you'd have to do is just add a clip and wrap some ribbon around the center and this would be super cute. Thank you for watching our spike bow tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials each week. And also be sure to check out theribbonretreat.com for all of your bow making supplies and needs. Thank you.